have another BTS vlog and it's time for me to give you the time and date stamp it is Saturday it is no <laughs> it is 11 hours and 56 minutes into the day of Saturday January 11th 2014 that's right and it's the weekend BTS vlog it's gonna cover uh, January 11th and 12th so this is a, a two-day vlog basically the vlogs are gonna are, are gonna start and end uh, when I can fill up a half hour, so sometimes it's one day, sometimes it's two days. It depends on how much uh, material can be put into the BTS vlog. Sometimes there's a lot of material, sometimes there's not a lot of material. Um, so when there's not a lot of material or things going on during the day, you can expect a multiple day uh, vlog. If there's enough material in the day, you can expect the, uh, that day's vlog to fill up the entire vlog. And so basically the BTS vlog is gonna follow the workflow here and that's what's gonna determine whether or not there's a multi-day uh, <coughs> um, BTS vlog or a single day uh, BTS vlog that being said we're gonna move on to something a little bit new right now as I said we're bringing back Ubuntu Beastie Unit Satal and the whole purpose of, of that show of that show is to really sort of bring about a difference in uh, the way you have reporting done on Linux and Android. Because I, I view Android as part of Linux, and I'm actually working on a project to bring in Android properly into the Linux fold so you have a proper Android Linux system on your tablet. Uh, and that means that we're doing a lot towards, uh, going a lot more towards development. Uh, we're not simply going to do some fanfare, some fanfare on there. And what happened last night? I was working on a, on a particular uh, uh, YouTube app for my IPTV because my IPTV is on Android, and things were going well. And then uh, they decided to create, and this is what happens sometimes. They decided to do an upgrade, and uh, the upgrade kind of wrecked things. And you had, to, I had to go in and reconfigure the system to work around the upgrade. Basically what ended up happening is, is, is this uh, browser, new browser called Dolphin. Dolphin is doing what a lot of other browsers aren't doing and that's they're creating their own media players inside uh, their, their, their product. They have, they're basically kind of, they're trying to be an independent platform separate from, from YouTube, which is good. This is a good, and that's actually why I moved to Dolphin. I was originally on Opera, but then because uh, Opera had its own independent platform, and then after moving, then afterwards Opera started changing, and they started uh, throwing the video applications to um, the YouTube app. But I don't like the YouTube app. The YouTube app is very buggy, very problematic, and I really don't want to have to feel uh, fiddle around with the the cumbersomeness, the 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 interference from the YouTube app. Uh, when I'm browsing in a browser. When I want to, in my browser, I want to watch my videos in the browser. I don't want to go to a separate app to, to do with that. Uh, <coughs> and Opera stopped allowing me to do that. And I found Dolphin. Dolphin said, you can do all your videos inside Dolphin, no problem. Uh, and so I moved over to Dolphin. Well, just uh, yesterday, I upgraded the app, upgraded the, uh, the, their app they called uh, Jetpack. Which is for mobile, it, it improves the Dolphin uh, browser uh, for smaller uh, 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 devices. Like uh, my device on t uh, IPTV only has 512K on it. It's not a Bundeg system or higher. It's, a, it's uh, on gingerbread. So it needs to be, the apps need to be more ginger, uh, brought in more gingerly uh, onto this device because there's not a lot of space on it. You can't be a space hog and run on a gingerbread device. And Dolphin was good at this, particularly with Jetpack. Jetpack really resolved a lot of the, the, the stability issues that, that Dolphin had. But, they said, just as last night, the upgrade, what did they do? They started throwing the uh, videos, instead of leaving them in the browser, they started throwing them to, um, uh, to the YouTube app. And that just, you know, wasn't working for me. So, 
I had I had to uninstall it. I uninstalled uh, the jetpack. I left off and install. But there were other problems that sort of popped up with a nice kind of left uh, uh, when I re-rated. Asked me to rate uh, jetpack. I left a frowny face and a one star, basically letting them know that I wasn't happy with the addition to uh, the platform. Uh, the YouTube app. I don't want that YouTube app uh, option in there. It causes a lot of problems. And it's not Dolphin's problem, it's YouTube's app's problems. So, I took the, I, I told them I'm uninstalling Jetpack, I didn't uninstall Jetpack, and I just left Dolphin on there and worked, did a workaround for Dolphin. So that Dolphin is not working. It's not working with Flash Player. What it is working with, it's working with, working with MX Player. I chose MX Player as the default player. But that means that Dolphin still has problems. There's still things to work around with. And just this morning, I noticed uh, up in my uh, no notification box that um, the one person, from, I think, uh, call, uh, Calonis, I think it is. I don't know how you say your name properly. From Dolphin, set, added me to their circles. I added them back. And I decided that, you know, they're talking a lot about the beta development. But if your product, the product, that, your main product that you work with, doesn't is not up to snuff. In other, in other words, if there's a, a, a serious quality control issue that you need to address with your uh, with your your current uh, your current application, then you need testers to sit down and work out uh, the details to work out to show you what's going wrong with things. But the thing is, is, descriptions are never as good as seeing. So what I'm doing now, and this is what's going to come up next. And the next is going to be a video test that's going to be uh, added into it. It's going to be an added in feature to uh, Ubuntu BSD Unix and Tal. And it, what it's going to do is going to go over the app and show you uh, some of the problems that are occurring in this particular application. I'll show you some of the things that are working well and some of the things that are not working well. And that hopefully, week by week, if we go over these things and I show the stress test and they can see this in the video, this might help them build a better product. So that's where we're going to go with that. And so, right next, the next segment that you're going to get, that you're going to see, is going to be a um, video test for Ubuntu BSD units at all. All right, we're back. This is a test segment for uh, Ubuntu BSD units at all. As I stated before, uh, we're going to be doing this on a regular basis. Uh, any bunch of BSD units at all. But uh, this uh, particular video test is going to go into, uh, into uh, what you call it, uh, BTS vlogs. So here we are, we're, we're, in the, uh, uh, we're on the uh, IPTV, we're on the, uh, dev the, the device, and it's a gingerbread device. We're in the browser Dolphin, and if you can look at, up at the, uh, the URL button here, the URL bar, it says here that we're at m.youtube.com forward slash home. That's what's in the URL bar. But, but as you can see, we're actually on a person's page. Yeah, we're on the, the channel. We're on the Mommy and Gracie Show channel. And the, uh, the, the, uh, the, what's it called? The URL hasn't properly updated. In order to update it, what you have to do is you click uh, reload and you see that the uh, browser is reloading there you go and now we're on the mommy and Gracie show there we go see now it's showing the proper uh, the proper uh, URL so let's go down below and this is the problem that I had dealt with earlier so I'm gonna go with uh, Doll Hunter finds lights uh, camera action vamp, uh, vampirine uh, gorgon. So let's go here. Okay, so we're in that. And you see what happened here is that once again, the URL didn't change. We're on the right page, and I'll show you that uh, even though we're on, this URL is showing incorrectly here, we can indeed watch this video. And this video is actually... Here we go. It's so cold, I forgot to film it. So oh, this oh is it. Goodness. We're in the video. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. Okay. 
Uh, you see this here? We are in uh, we are in uh, MX Player. I can't believe they read 25. Pause this. No pause. Yeah, we do have a pause here. Yeah. Oh. You see here, we're, we're actually inside of we're inside of uh, what you call it. We're inside of uh, MX Player and not in the actual. And I see. The actual, what to call it, the, the, uh, the, uh, 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 not in Flash Player, and we're not in, uh, YouTube Player, the YouTube uh, app. So let's get out of this. So this has worked successfully. This has been a successful workaround. We still have the option now to thumbs up. And, and this is again showing the incorrect URL. We can do to a save uh, playlist. You know, YouTube stroll. There you go. And but yet the um, URL bar is not showing correctly. So let's refresh this page. We refresh the page, and there we go. We're on the video. It's time for the next uh, segment of the BTS vlogs for uh, January 11th and 12th. Let me get the timer started here. Oop. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Here we go. Sometimes the, my finger is a little fat and I miss the button a little bit and something else pops up. Anyways, uh... Let me give you a time and date stamp. It's 22 hours and 20 minutes into the day of Sunday, January uh, 12th, 2014. I'd like to say Kala Kastuina uh, to all those uh, people who celebrate uh, the old Christmas, the original Christmas, before the U.S. got their hands on it. <laughs> before white people came and messed it all up. That's right. White people are all the are all the problems of the world. They came and messed everything up. Yeah, the original original Christmas on January seventh. They came in. Well, it wasn't good enough for us, so we wanted it more accurate. So we changed it to December twenty fifth. And they did that because they changed the entire calendar as well. <laughs> um. Anyways, um, what happened? I'm still dealing with my uh, sleep deprivation pretty much. Uh, I am putting in 10 hour days in terms of my studying, but I still have trouble going beyond that. I don't have the stamina to go beyond the, 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 the 10 hours of studying. So the result is, is that by the time 10 hours is up, I'm pretty much exhausted and I just go right to bed. That means that if, if I'm not up late enough to go to my parents' house so I can go to church in the morning, then I'm not going to be going to church in the morning. That's, that's kind of the way it is because... Uh, uh, there's no one to pick me up from here that early in the morning. So, uh, that's what happened. I ended up sleeping in last night. Uh, I went to bed around 8, 8.30. And then got up around 11.30. And today I went to my parents' house. We had uh, a nice spaghetti dinner. And then from there we went to, uh, the church. Celebrated something known as the, uh, Celebrated known as a Vasilopita. Uh, for the Greeks who know about St. Basil, the Vasilopita is the pita, the bread that is handed out the time in honor of St. Basil. It is a Christmas Day celebration. In other words, uh, let's see, what's t t today is the uh, 12th. So let me bring up my calendar here. Uh, so we are... January 7th is the first day of Christmas, second day of Christmas, third day of Christmas, fourth day of Christmas, fifth day of Christmas. We are in the sixth day of Christmas. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, when I do the uh, vlog for uh, 13 and 14, uh, we will be celebrating St. Basil. That's the name day of St. Basil, and that will actually be the... Uh, the Greek New Year. The Greeks will consider this their New Year. And this is the bizarre thing. And this is where, you know, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> the Greeks being Greeks, uh, well, they've pretty much sold out and have become European and the calendar's changed and they're even they're celebrating Christmas on 25th. They 
held on to St. Basil as their uh, as one of their beloved saints. And as such, they celebrate St. Basil the, the, the New Year on uh, January 14th. January 13th and January 14th. Well, why do they do that? Well, because if you follow if you follow that January 7th, which was the original Christmas, was the 25th, then exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days out gives you January 14th, and that is New Year's Day. Because New Year's, the 20, it's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, right? That gives you December 31. And one more is January 1st. So what happens on the old calendar, um, the, this is the Julian calendar, which was the astronomical calendar of Egypt, uh, you had uh, uh, New Year's being celebrated on, uh, January, on our calendar, the current calendar, uh, the Gregorian calendar, um, which is basically the Western calendar, the uh, the European calendar. Uh, you have uh, basically January first occurring on January fourteenth. In other words, prior to the European calendar, which everyone's following now. Uh, January first uh, on the uh, 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 on on the old calendar. Is now January fourteenth. And see what happens. The Greeks, although they've become Westernized, a lot of them have given up their Greekness to become European. They still celebrate um, Saint Basil and the New Year, the Greek New Year, on January fourth. In other words, they, they still have remnants of the, their of their old culture still there. In other words, they haven't been, even though they've primarily become Europeanized, they've been primarily been whitewashed so to say, their old Greekness, the Greekness prior to being white, white, white prior to the genocide that, that occurred, uh, is still there. In other words, that the culture is still shining through. So this is what we celebrate uh, on, uh, on uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Monday is the Eve, and uh, Tuesday is, uh, is January 1st at St. Basil. Now we're supposed to have Vasiliopita after uh, Saint after Saint Basil, uh, but uh, for some reason they decided to do it uh, before the sun. The way the, way the Sundays felt, the, the Sundays felt they they decided to do it before. So the result is now um, they we we did it on this Sunday rather than the Sunday. Oh, okay, that's that's why I couldn't figure out why they were doing. Why they were doing um, the Vasilopita now rather than uh, next Sunday? Turns out next Sunday is the 19th. That's known as Fota. That's the Epiphany, uh, as many people, other people call it. And that's the end of Christmas. So what happens is that because the end of the Christmas is next week, the only time to have the Vasilopita was today. So that's kind of what's been going on. And uh, what's going to happen next for the next segment? is I'm going to redo the second segment, which was and is the uh, the video test for Ubuntu BC Unisic Tau. So uh, I'll be back in a few minutes with that test, but it's going to be in uh, on the uh, new test camera that I'll be shooting uh, up there with. So it's not going to be on this particular camera. Anyways, I'll see you in the next segment in a few minutes. Alrighty, take it easy. This is the uh, second test uh, that I'm doing here. The second video test. The first video test I did it on a monopod because uh, I didn't think I was able to get a tripod in here. But now I've got a tripod in here, and so now we're going to film uh, what happens in Dolphin. What I'm going to do is I'm on uh, SS Sniper Wolf. Uh, I'm on one video page. I'm going to go to the second uh, video here to Happy Wheels, and I want you to watch and take a look at what's happening here on the URL. This is youtube.com uh, forward slash question mark 
V L X S Z G. So we go to the next one. And what we see here is that the URL has not changed. So this is the thing here. The URL has not changed. The um, thing is, I'm in Dolphin, but I don't have Jetpack installed. I uninstalled Jetpack because when you install Jetpack with the new option for YouTube, the YouTube app, it automatically directs you to the YouTube app. In other words, where it's the YouTube, the YouTube app option, and the new YouTube app option inside of... Um, inside of uh, what you call it, inside of the uh, jetpack is not an option it forces you to you to the YouTube app and for those of you who uh, are trying to get away from the YouTube app and this is one of the reasons why I came to op to to Dolphin I had initially been on Opera uh, and then uh, Opera started changing its uh, what matter or way it handled uh, its uh, the YouTube videos and it started sending you to the YouTube app and so I came over to Dolphin to, 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 to do the same thing here. Now what I've done is uh, I uninstalled the, the, the Jetpack app when it started malfunctioning and sending me to the YouTube app and I just now have Dolphin running. And what I've done is I've assigned Dolphin to not use uh, because it didn't come up with the option to use uh, the Flash Player, but it did come up with the option option to use MX Player. So I defaulted it now. It's always going to use MX Player. So that's what we're going to see here. We're going to click on the first uh, on the video. Hey guys, what's up? And we here it is here. Happy Meals today, and I'm really sick today. I don't know if I'm sick. And here is allergies. the uh, the the. Uh, in my eye. If you don't want to die, let me just like pause this for a minute here. Eye, so. Okay, it's paused. This pause feature is not available in the flat if you use a flash player you can't pause it however now because we are in uh, a, a MX player even with the ads uh, we have a, a, a full ability to pause we can change the dynamics of the screen here we, if, if something is not uh, uh, not HD we can actually make it and, and actually stretch it out to become part of the full screen here uh, and the thing is, we now have the option to pause. If you're in, uh, if you played, if you used this before, and you were using uh, Flash Player, even though you have the pause button down here, what had happened is, you, when you hit pause, it went back to uh, the uh, to the uh, YouTube page. But it doesn't do that here. It's still playing in here. It's still playing. It is, and so you just click on uh, play really again, and we're back to playing. <laughs> Really and I'll show you another nice feature that, that happens play. in here. I'll take my frustration out uh, of this. Let's bring this forward. So. Okay, we got a few minutes left in here. So ah, he's playing this he's playing the game here. Oh my god! I need to do the jump. Okay, that video is over, and it, it, this is nice. It brings you right back to the uh, YouTube player. If you were on Flash, it wouldn't bring you back to the to the YouTube channel uh, on Dolphin. And I should say it brings you back to Dolphin again. It brings you back to your YouTube page. Now this is this is the this is the mobile page. I prefer using the mobile page to the app. The mobile page is much better than the YouTube app is. So I'm gonna click on like. And I'm going to add it to a list, which you can all do on here now. There we go. But if you notice the, all this here, that this has not changed at all. So the YouTube, the, the URL hasn't changed. So I'm going to refresh. I'm going to refresh the page. There you go. Page is refreshed. New URL. Same video. In other words, the proper URL for this video here is now updated. If we bring out the uh, the button bar, guess what happens? Because it wasn't on the proper URL, the uh, thumbs up click is gone. So, uh, and the thing is, is that even if we go back into subscriptions, let's go back into subscription to show you this here. Let's see if we can actually find it. 
pops up at all. Here we go. Um, now I had washed this one before. Again, watch does not it does not show watch the crotch here, but I've watched it at all. Uh, we just watched I just watched this one, and it's sort of uh, the one after it, and that again it doesn't show watch across here. I watched this one me and again it doesn't show watch across here. In other words, it has an updated and oh, well, here's the thing here. You see this ghosting? See that uh, little ghosting back here? As I move up. There's that little uh, graphic there from Show More Videos. So there, is, there are some problems with Dolphin, uh, but then you know what? You know what? They're not bad. They're not bad problems. These because they, 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 they are they have uh, workarounds. They were gonna go do what we're de see. There's the queue again. Uh, there are workarounds, uh, and the problems are not as si significant as one would think because even though it doesn't show watched. What it does do is that when you do click thumbs up and put it into a playlist, it does record that it has been added to a playlist. Uh, I can actually show you this. Let's see if we can actually go see this here. We've got one minute left. So let's do playlist very quickly. Uh, we just did... Uh, here's my channel. YouTube stroll. Uh, where's the one we just saw here? Ugh. This has overclick problems too. So we can't see it on here. Uh, what happens, unfortunately, when you're in uh, the YouTube app, you really have a limitation as to how these things go, and they're not always in the day you kind of. They're not always in the order that you watch them. Well, we've had to extend this into a sec into a second uh, segment because I went over what I was saying earlier. So let's see if we can try and find what we just watched. Now there doesn't seem to be when you're in mobile here. Putting them in any particular order. Uh, so let's see if we can go and find this. Show more videos, random vlog. Um, okay, getting close. Okay. Well, here's Ask Wolf thirty-one, uh, number thirty-one, and here's attempting to play Happy with. These are the two we just watched. And remember, I showed you that on um, the subscription thing, it doesn't show. And here's the superhero that it doesn't show that I watched these, even though I did, and I did put them into the uh, YouTube stroll list. Here they are, right here. And what it does seem to be doing is it seems to be putting these uh, uh, these videos at the bottom of the list rather than putting them at the top of the list. Uh, why it does that, I'm not really too sure, but uh, it shows the oldest first rather than the newest first. So this is this is kind of where some of the issues are. Oh, and here's one of the things you can watch. See, here's where it shows watched, right? And you see what's happened here. The difference between this video and that video. These two videos here. This video was on uh, Jetpack. These videos were watched on Jetpack. This video, starting from here, this was on Dolphin without Jetpack. Do Jetpack at this point here has been uninstalled. And this continues all the way through here. This is all just on Dolphin itself. It's not with Jetpack. Jetpack has been uninstalled here. So what Dolphin does, is now lacking, it's lacking the ability to track whether or not a, 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 um, 
uh, a video has been watched or not. And that's where I had pointed this out earlier in the uh, the subscribe uh, section that uh, when you're on YouTube, it has it's lost the ability to uh, uh, to track whether a video has been watched or not. Where all this this is all on Dolphin here. This this I should say was all on Jetpack. But Jetpack is now gone. It's uninstalled. I will not be putting it back. Uh, it, it's just too much effort to reconfigure things when things go wrong. The, my suggestion here is because you, uh, Dolphin, this is Dolphin uh, without Jetpack, is running on a, a, on a 512K uh, Android box, my recommendation is simply to leave it as it is. There's the one I just watched for the, for the hero. See where it's superhero here? The Brett Taylor. No watched. Same thing that, that you see in the, um, in the, what you call it, in the, uh, uh, in the uh, playlist. There's no watched across it, even though I watched it. You see it was in the playlist. Uh, so I clicked, did click on that. You know, you see my YouTube feed that say it has, it's there as well. Uh, here is the Ask, Ask Wolf. Watch that. You know, that was in the playlist. That doesn't show up as watched. So, that is it. My preference now is Dolphin. I am not going back to Jetpack. Uh, my recommendation is to fix up these things, these issues in Dolphin, and then start worrying about Jetpack because uh, if you can get Dolphin working, and it is working well enough on a 512K uh, Android device, uh, that uh, there is not going to be a need for Jetpack. Jetpack is not required if a Dolphin works fine on a um, on, on on a 512k device, and that's, this is where you should be aiming for. This is 512k. This device is 512k. 512k. Uh, it's no 512 megabytes. 512 megabytes, not k. That's years ago. 512 megabytes, not one gigabyte, but 512 megabytes, and it's Android uh, 2.3. It's gingerbread. So this is a good standard to see whether or not uh, Dolphin works. It does. Uh, it does have some other issues. I'm not going to bring them in now uh, because this is just a test video for Ubuntu BSD Unix Intel. And this does seem to work. You can see the um, UR bar, URL bar. And, and you can see here that the URL bar, bar hasn't changed. It's still showing playlist. It hasn't updated. So th these are two major things that have to be dealt with. It's the URL bar. It's the uh, tracking of uh, videos that have been watched. Uh, but otherwise, the other thing, again, again, do not bring the YouTube app option into here. Because YouTube will not give you that option. It will not allow you to have that option to use other uh, other media players. It's going to force you to the YouTube app. It does that with everything. Uh, they, they tried that in Opera. It didn't work in Opera. And people ha have been leaving the Opera platform. I left. I was on Opera. I left Opera because you weren't allowed to use other apps outside of uh, YouTube. When, when they brought the YouTube app into their, uh, into their uh, the way they handled the YouTube videos, uh, you, uh, I left. And I came to Dolphin specifically for this. So I hope this helps. Uh, I will be doing more on a weekly basis uh, on Ubuntu BSD units to tell. I will be going more into the app, showing more of the problems. Uh, I hope this helps fix things up. Anyways, uh, that's it for uh, this edition of, uh, of uh, the, uh, BSD, BSD, uh, uh, sure to say, uh, BTS Vlogs. <laughs> Uh, for uh, uh, January 11th and 12th. This is the ending segment, the last segment. Uh, we went over what we're supposed to do, but uh, we needed we needed to. All right. Uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> All right on the thir uh, on on the 13th.
I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.